The Passages of Autobiography The Prisoner of the Hague, in English, Under the Writing Process, The War of September 1965, by Ainsay I was 14 years old when the Indian Armed Forces attack Pakistan soil. President of Pakistan, General Ayub Khan's very influential speech touched the hearts and minds of the entire nation and empowered the armed forces of Pakistan to defend its state and people, sacrificing their lives. The feeling to become a martyr for my beloved Pakistan, therefore, I decided all alone to devote my life for this great purpose. I tried to join the army since the army was recruiting in Larkana but I was sent back home by my sister-in-law's uncle, who was collaborating and assisting with that recruiting, I thought he was a tender holder of the army, so he was then in charge, for it. However, I did not stop, to join that I went every day there, for new hope and effort, and happily, I succeeded in it, as a fact, for it, I lied to that I was 18 years old. The soldier asked me the birth certificate, to sum it later, army officers were not so strict as a usual recruiting process. My family gave permission, in a sad way that I was too young for that. I was ready to travel towards Abbottabad, Havlian to report at the army checkpoint, I went to Larkana railway station, it was the evening time, before that I said to every one of my family, only not my elder brother since he was in Karachi, for his business trip. I was missing him that I could not wait for him, I had to report on the said date. Fortunately, when the Karachi express train arrived at Larkana station where I saw my elder brother was coming out from the train, he and I saw each other, he seemed surprised and questioned coming towards me that what I was doing on the station in the evening time. I told him the whole story briefly, he was confused, he gave me some money, and emotionally embraced and blessed me. Later I came to know that when he reached home, he cried so much that it was my study age, not the fighting in the army. The memories of that display visibly in my mind a few others from Larrakan were also traveling with me, our destination was Abbottabad. Another day we reached there, we reported and joined the army training. After a few weeks, our posting was at Jhelum and then Rawalpindi. During that period, India and Pakistan agreed to halt and stop fighting at the Tashkent in the Soviet Union. Russia, which Zda Bhutto played as a political tool and advantage against General Ayub's regime. When my posting was in Rawalpindi, I started to feel desperate, bore, and missing my family, as a result, I cried and wanted to leave the army service and continue my study. My purpose was to be a martyr for the country, but the war was over, I did not feel charming anymore. It was difficult to leave the army without proper procedure, however, I received the official letter of discharge from the army service. After completion of my intermediate study in art and commerce college in Larkana where my real cousin Abuda Sitabuto was principal, and my mentor was Professor Muslim Shamim, he was also a venerable poet, he also corrected a few of my Urdu ghazals. I enrolled in the Intermediate Education Board Hyderabad for my Bachelor of Arts B.A. degree. As a stubborn child, I always created troubles for my mother, whom I loved so much that I cannot address and describe in words. In this context, at the age of 17, I left Larkana for Karachi in 1968, to seek the job, and higher education where I faced a tough life. For my B.A. exam, I went to Hyderabad. Every evening and after the paper in the morning, I backed to Karachi in the afternoon to attend my job. I stayed in the cheapest hotels, whereas, I had family there, a step-cousin Abdul Hamid Bhutto, son of my aunt's first husband. I never went and met them. 
I passed the B.A. exam and enrolled in Karachi University for my Master of Arts degree in Urdu Literature. After that, I passed LL.B, a law degree from the SM Law College, Karachi. In the meantime, in 1974, when Z.A. Bhutto was the Prime Minister of Pakistan, whereas, I worked in Daily Agaz Karachi, the evening newspaper, as an assistant editor and in charge of the city, magazine, and student pages, I received a letter from my elder brother that I had received a war medal from the Pakistan army. It was a surprise and happiness too. On my wish, my brother sent that medal, with an army letter, it was a great honor for me. A war medal from such a remarkable institution even though it was after nine years that I joined the army. Several newspapers published the news about it, a journalist and my colleague, Zahora Mudni Azi published that news, titling as Ain Sagal received the war medal after nine years. It was a hidden critic, I smiled and realized that it was a step of only to please Z.A. Bhutto. However, I am still a soldier to defend my beloved in the way of writing, not the gun, live long Pakistan. A passage translated from the Prisoner of the Hague.